Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. I am here with our guest star, Sathish, my stunt double. We, uh, Sathish did some work last night uh, installing a new switch in the basement. Actually, it was already. He installed it last week. He moved all the uh, users over to it this morning. We had one issue last night that we couldn't quite get around, which was an AP that wouldn't come back up. So we'll come out here and take a look at this thing. So this is the old one here. And what we were seeing is the light on. Yeah, I just have to hold this real quickly here. This light right here. That wasn't coming up. So. Uh, we tried different things. We tried a new cable down there. We tried on a new switch, uh, new switch port. We even put it back on the old switch to see if that would fix it. It didn't. Sathish came out here. We did a factory reset on that, on the old one that he's holding. That didn't work. So we got a new one out of the box. We put it in up there. And now, I don't know if you'll be able to see those lights. Those flashing lights means it's in discover mode. So that's a good thing. So now we're gonna go in here and help it discover the wireless controller. Um, we're gonna authorize it. So I'm gonna get logged on here. One moment, please. You can sit there and watch me in my log on face. I'm going to talk Satish through authorizing this. As soon as I get to my wireless controller, please stand by. Your call is important to us. Please stay on the line, and we will have a representative get to you as soon as possible. All right. So we have two wireless controllers, and I have to check both of them to see where it's trying to uh, authenticate itself. So the way these, these APs work is um, they broadcast for their controller, and my password has changed. They broadcast for the controller, the controller answers, and if it's already been authorized, it checks its MAC address. If it's already been authorized, it uh, s uh, downloads the AP's config. If it hasn't been authorized, it just puts it in a state saying, hey, there's a new device out there that's wanting to be authorized. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to look for that. There it is. All right. As soon as Satish gets back, I'm going to walk him through authorizing this thing. All right, come on, have a seat, Satish. I'm gonna walk you through it okay. since I can't hold hold my uh, expensive. No, you 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 gonna do it? No, 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 not me. Go ahead, have a seat. Sit down. Make yourself comfortable. So what we're gonna do is uh, you can see it up on the top. You see how it's just showing up as a serial number. Yeah. Uh, that's its name right now. It just names itself as a serial number. So you see the box is checked there. Just check OK and then go down to the actions menu and then look for approve as local. That means it's going to be a local AP to this particular controller. Controller. Yeah. So, um, and I'm going to name it the same as the old one. So go down here to this one that says uh, the old one, BNT 104. Check that. Go down to Actions, and look for Delete. For delete. Oh, no, there's not. Release? No, get out of that menu. I'm sorry. That's my bad. There's a Delete button. So hit that Delete button. Yep. OK. 
Okay. So now the one we just authenticated, we got to find. Go up to the very top. And let's sort by name. Let's click the name field. We'll sort by that. See, there it is. Okay, now um, right, don't uncheck that box and just click on the AP itself. And click the configure button. Hello. And where it says name, down, down one, that's the serial number. Down, down, there you go, name. And let's call it BNT 104. Sorry, guys, my camera's getting all out of whack. Okay, and then in the location, we want it to be Benton Hall. Take the auto complete. And in the zone will be the same Benton Hall. Okay, now let's go over to uh, the top tabs, the uh, WLAN assignment. That looks good. Check radio one. That looks good. And radio two. That looks good. Now let's go over to static configuration. Um, so down here, I don't want to tell these guys, just click inside the box. I don't want to tell these guys what the IP is, but type this IP there and the other's IP, or type in that IP first, click add. And then the second IP address is just up one from the old one. There you go. He's getting there. Furiously typing. Go, Satish, go. Okay, and click apply. That's okay. There we go, close. And, oh, you know what? I bet the name didn't take. Click on the, the name again, because we, we didn't save before we, we did all that other thing. Yep. So go ahead and change all that stuff. Back to what you had before. Isn't this exciting? We're approving an AP. There we go. That's a what I missed. So now it's going to probably reboot again. And up in the search field, you can just type BNT and it'll just show you the Benton Hall APs. There we go. Go ahead and click on that again. And we'll see when it comes up. Let's go back and check. I bet it's rebooting. Because when you change the name, it reboots. Let's go see. Yep, it's rebooting. So the LEDs kind of tell us what it's doing. The first one's a power, it's showing we've got good power. It's exciting. It's like watching paint dry. It boots really fast, doesn't it? In a minute, we should start seeing lights blink. Tell you what, I'll pause it until something starts happening. So something is finally happening here. So the other thing these things do when you approve them is they download the new firmware. So that's what this one is doing. 
downloaded the new firmware, it rebooted again, and now it is rebooting. Oops, sorry about that. So now you can see those two end lights are green. That means radio one and radio two are on. And the uh, red or the orange LED there, I can't tell what color that is. It's red, it looks orange on my phone. Um, that indicates the link speed is one gig. And um, actually it looks like it's downloading the firmware right now. Radio one is back on. Radio two is back on. There we go. Now it's completed with the boot up cycle. So we should be able to go back to the controller. You see a good AP there. There we go. Now you're not looking up my nose. I know you guys get really excited. There we go. So it's actually showing that uh, there are devices trying to, or it's, it is now available. There's no devices on it yet, but it is there and available. just yet but that's it it's there it's up it's running you can uh, close out of that Satish and then go to um, at the top reports and on the side look for AP availability scroll up a little bit down a little bit there you go and look for BNT 104 here Okay, so yeah, the, uh, the green on top means it's connected to its primary channel, blue on bottom, it's connected to its secondary channel. So it's good, it's back up, it's running, we had a bad AP. So we'll continue on trying to figure out what's wrong with that AP. I'll probably give that to Satish so he has something to do tomorrow while I'm off. So uh, anyway, sorry that was kind of long and moments of nothing going on, but that's, uh, that was our excitement for this week. We had a bad AP. Um, Satish did a great job down in the, the basement replacing the switch. It's very messy. I'm not going to show you that. And it's not Satish's fault. It's just I told him to do it that way. Just whatever we have, use it, move it to the new switch, and that's what he did. So, And the new switch is, the old switch is probably stuck in there forever. That's okay. <laughs> so anyway, everybody, thanks for watching. Um, if you liked what you saw, sorry about the mask today, but uh, I'm in a, in, a, in a clinical area. Uh, if you liked what you saw, click the uh, subscribe button, click the notification bell if you want to know when, uh, when we make these new videos. And uh, yeah, click the notification bell, as he says. And uh, we'll see you guys all next week. And to all Satish's friends in India, namaste. Hmm? We'll catch you next time.